Welcome to Guide to Survive. The world is a big, beautiful place full of incredible and breathtaking sights and experiences. It's also doing everything it can to kill you, and so that's where this program fits in. Before you venture into the great outdoors, you need to learn about all of the terrifying and mystical creatures that lurk in the woods, knock on your window, and hide in your toilet. With this guide, you'll learn how to identify a would-be assailant, analyze its strengths and weaknesses, and deal with it effectively. By the end of your training, you'll be ready to take on any creep or cryptid that crosses your path. So here's to you, and the great adventure that lies ahead. Let's begin. Target Analysis Name Azwang Balbal -bal, Tick Tick or Sock Sock Class Parasapien Demon or Shapeshifter Habitat The Philippines Predominantly the Visayas regions Woodlands or domestic areas such as cities, towns and villages Lifespan 70 plus years extended through devouring infants Strengths Flight, shapeshifting, voice projection, and understanding of human language and behavior. Weaknesses. Loses the lower half of its body while in flight, as you do. Ash, holy relics, light, salt, spices, and urine. Yes, really. Overall threat level. 8 if pregnant, 5 if not. Behaviour While free to live undisturbed within the wilds, Aswang are historically renowned for their shapeshifting abilities, utilising this in order to infiltrate populated areas such as towns and cities, establishing themselves in a hunting grounds of sorts. Typically in human form, they are relatively ordinary in appearance, and reserve in personality, understandably valuing their privacy. Not to be confused with me, okay? Furthermore, while hunting, an Aswang will detach from the lower half of its body, hiding it for insurance purposes before taking to the air to hunt from above. Aswang are notorious for preying upon pregnant women, utilizing their, for lack of a better term, parasitic tongues to consume the fetus while still in the womb. Despite having a terribly grotesque appearance, they are reported to wander completely in the nude, its unsightly unmentionables flapping in the wind. Seriously? Not. Me. I can't go to war with the Philippines again. I've burned too many bridges already. Curiously, Aswang have no strong ties to one another, to the extent that Aswang will even kill and devour one another if hungry enough. This detachment provides a fascinating insight as to their social behaviour as while they are capable of blending into a populated area with relative ease, even in the presence of other Aswang, during the day and in public, they are able to suppress their cold, predatory natures for the sole purpose of maintaining their cover and thus keeping their hunting grounds relatively undisturbed. Remember, the quieter the call, the closer the Aswang is, the louder the call, the further away it is. Its call is distinctly recognisable as a tick-tick sound. This is an ability meant to deceive humans. Do not be caught off guard. Stratagem So, here's the scenario. You are enjoying your time in the Philippines. It's late, and you're all settled, and wondering what Jar 19 is doing right now. Suddenly, you hear a very soft tick-tick sound and a light scratching around you. An Aswang is nearby. Your plan of attack. Firstly, knocked up. Pretend to be pregnant in order to lure the Aswang in. Gentlemen, this may take some ingenuity on your part. Prepare some spices, holy relics, weapons and urine you have nearby and pretend to be asleep. Secondly, tongue-tied. The Aswang will make its way inside and attempt to use its long, disturbing tongue to ingest the fetus it assumes you have. Once the tongue is close enough, grab it and hold on for dear life. Thirdly, the face. Use the spices, light or urine to blind and most likely horrify the Aswang. 
Fourthly, entire arsenal. Missing the lower half of its body, most of the Aswang's strength will be in its wings. Use everything you have, relics, weapons, leftover ingredients from the previous step, and absolutely destroy the Aswang. Fifthly, amazing work. Go ahead and piss on it again for good measure. Pop quiz. Question number one. Have Aswang been reported outside of the Philippines? Question number two. Is it true that an Aswang will detach the upper and lower halves of its body in order to fly? Question number three. Are Aswang protective of one another? Question number four. Can Aswang shapeshift and hide as humans within populated areas? Question number five. An Aswang's call is as close as it sounds. Answers. Question number one. Have Aswang been reported outside of the Philippines? Answer, no. So far, Aswang have not been reported outside of the Philippines. Question number two. Is it true that an Aswang will detach the upper and lower halves of its body in order to fly? Answer, yes. Aswang will separate from the lower halves of their bodies before flying. Question number three. Are Aswang protective of one another? Answer, no. Despite forming family units, Aswang will kill one another indiscriminately. Question number four. Can Aswang shapeshift and hide as humans within populated areas? Answer, yes. Aswang are infamous shapeshifters and will live as humans in towns, cities, and villages. Question number five. An Aswang's call is as close as it sounds. Answer, no. It is in fact the exact opposite. The louder the call, the further away the Aswang is. If you scored zero to one, then you put up as much fight as a baby. I'm so disappointed. If you scored two to three, then you might be alive, but getting pregnant, moving to the Philippines, most notably the Visayas regions, Settling into a life there, finding work, continuing to purchase the arguably overpriced Jar 19 Guide to Survive series, raising a family, staring longingly into the eyes of the one person whom you gratefully share your life with, gaining constant fulfillment from the choices you've made, watching said choices reflect positively on others around you as their lives are enriched by your mere presence. From there they share such gifts with others, thus improving the lives of so many whom you've never even met. But this incredibly fortuitous series of actions has led to a domino effect of benevolence and living happily ever after just doesn't appeal to you anymore. If you scored four to five, grandiose work. I dare say you're more capable than I'll ever give you credit for. Conclusion Excellent work. I'd say you're ready to get out there and face whatever challenges plot against you. And if you're not, then don't worry. You can re-watch these survival guides as much as you like. And they're non-refundable. I'm very proud of the progress you've made, and I know you're going to take the future in your stride. I've got a good feeling about you, Juan de la Cruz. Good luck, and don't die!